jumping. I don't get it. I've never done it, but I'm about to try it. For the next 48 hours, I'll be battling against the elements as I attempt to complete my mission of camping on my own for the very first time. I have absolutely no experience of doing this, so wish me luck. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Let's just put up the tent. I don't know how you put up a tent. Let's find out. We're going to have to be quick because it's just starting to rain again. Please just let this be easy. Oh God, it looks hard. <laughs> oh no. For somebody that's never put up a tent before, that doesn't mean a lot to me, okay? I'm in deep trouble here. <laughs> Where's the floor? This must be the floor. This doesn't look very big. Is that right? I don't know. I mean, it looks like a tent. It might be a tent. Let's not get too carried away before it's finished. This is starting to look very promising. This feels like a real coming of age moment, like when you first change a tire or something. In you go. Come on. For somebody who's never put up a tent before. That's not too bad, is it? Hello and welcome to my new home. <sighs> oh, we've done it. I feel like it's a structurally sound enough for the two nights, hopefully, I don't know. This is a big moment. I've made something that for now hasn't collapsed and killed me. So it's always a positive, isn't it? I'm gonna do some interior design and then we'll see what it looks like. I think, is this a washing line? Hang on, Have we, got, we got a washing line. Get in. I've decorated, rather than having lads mags or whatever, I've gone for stickers. Oh, cheeky. Yeah, it's a bit of a bachelor pad in here, what can I say? Just get a bit fruity. I never camped before because the idea of it is just baffling to me. Like, people call it, oh, we're going on a camping holiday. It's not a holiday. It's not a holiday. I've never been on a holiday before and you've had to build your room on arrival. That's not a holiday, that's a faff. I don't even fit in here. I don't, honestly, I don't fit. But I'm gonna have to spread out like a starfish in order to fit in here tonight. Like, it's just not a holiday. There's a bloke who lives in a tent near me. He's homeless. He's not on holiday. He doesn't go, oh, I'm just on a camping holiday for life. Do you know what I mean? No, he doesn't. And yet people will come to a field and willingly participate in this. Baffling, really. All right, so I'm just going to go have a little explore the campsite. I don't really know what's here. I can hear a stream. Oh, that's where I'll be showering tomorrow. I won't. There's actual showers, don't worry. Let's go have a look down here. This looks precarious. Let's go down it. Pretty slippy, obviously, given that I've just had loads of rain this morning. So, uh, not the best grip. I don't know how I'm going to get back down this again, but probably on my ass. Why am I supposed to be down here? I mean, it's a footpath. That's what you do, isn't it, when you're out exploring? Just flies everywhere. Jesus. <laughs> nah, fine, just flies that. Why are the flies everywhere? Ah, I haven't got excrement on me, have I? My aim is very much to try and not get lost. Yeah, I really didn't think about how I was going to get down here. Just went through a really precarious bit then. I, I didn't film because it was really, really, <laughs> really close on that. This is actually pretty steep as well. You might not be able to tell, but I'm in a bit of a precarious situation and I just had to get down from there. I was holding on to a branch and the branch snapped. <laughs> I had one of those moments where I was like, oh, I'm going to put the camera away. I've had to climb back up because I couldn't get down. So I'm now back up here. I realised I've taken the wrong route down. So I just went down there, down where the fence is down here. And now I'm starting to think, was it this one that I actually came up instead? And I think it was. I mean, this looked absolutely fine. I just happened to go down the really dangerous path down there and nearly ended up in that stream. Okay, okay, there we go. You see, we're fine. I can't tell if those flowers are supposed to be there or if someone's died. Let's have a look. I'm not sure. Maybe they're naturally occurring. But why are they stuffed into the side of the dirt? I don't know, I'm not getting involved. I'm glad to be back on normal grass now. <laughs> anyway, let's sort out dinner. I don't know what I'm going to do. Jesus. I mean, yeah, so I've got a Domino's. It is not in good condition. <laughs> I don't know if you're able to see this, but it's it's all soggy. So we've got ourselves some nachos here, which actually look quite nice. And I've also got myself a pizza, yes. And it's now absolutely chucking it down and everything's wet. I'm absolutely soaked through. Even the camera's soaked. Now when you're camping out in the wild, it's important 
to always eat so you don't die. No, I'm not using my hands. I'm not a child. I've got some self-respect. Nacho test. I'm actually going to have to use my hands here. Oh, yay, they're cold. Brilliant. It's all just one nacho. This rain is really bad. Who even invented camping? Like, do you know what I mean, who came with the idea of, do you know what? Let's not have a proper roof. Let's use a bit of material and some thin poles. And let's just stay outside in the rain. Whose idea was this? I like how the box says, warning hot. They're stone cold. Right, let's see if the pizza's just as cold. Slightly warmer, but it's not warm. You probably can't even hear anything because of the rain. I can't believe I have to pay for this. This feels like a punishment. Right, I've finished now. I'm in a bit of a food coma. Uh, the rain's eased off a little bit. I've been out to uh, charge up my phone. I found a charger. They've got a charger in the toilets. So if you want to charge your phone, you've got to just hang out there. You go to the toilet, mate. You just stay charging. I mean, it's so cramped in here. I thought there was going to be more space than this. How is this supposed to be a two-man tent? I mean, who are the two men that you're fitting in this? Two umpa lumpers or something. Like, you... look, it's tiny. It's like I'm voluntarily staying in a coffin for the next two nights. Yes! Oh, that's naughty. No, surely not. Ah, he's a genius! Oh, oh dear. But anyway, I'm going to quickly head to the toilet so I can brush my teeth and get ready for the night because it's oh it's just started again oh no oh no that stream's now turned into what sounds like the sea never doing this ever again I'm soaked through again uh, but luckily I don't have to leave now here like a cat meow meow first time ever sleeping overnight in a tent so that's gonna be interesting i don't know what's out there could be anything could be anything out there a bear a deer a moose i don't know what's out there a car could run me over in the night do you know what i mean like this isn't gonna stop it is it well okay it's quarter to ten and i think i'm gonna try and get some sleep now i'm quite tired despite it only being quarter to ten i suspect it's gonna be a long night so uh, I'm going to try and get to sleep early. I am nowhere near big enough for the sleeping bag. So the sleeping bag doesn't even go and cover my breasticles. At least the rain stopped for now, which is a, a good thing. I think tomorrow is going to be a better day weather-wise. Let's hope. We've got lots to do. Fingers crossed we have a good night. It's now 3am. I'm quite cold. I'm struggling to get a proper night's sleep. Hopefully I can get another three or four hours sleep. Right, it's five o'clock in the morning now. I don't know how many hours of sleep I've had. A few, maybe. <sighs> Not an enjoyable night. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have pre-breakfast. Nature Valley bar, of course. Satsumas. And most importantly, I've got four Greg sausage rolls. It's better than anything Bear Grylls has. He goes on these little trips or whatever, and he goes, oh, do you fancy some hedgehog? No, not really. Get a Greg sausage roll out. Tastes like a sausage roll. Tartaric acid. That doesn't sound good for you. I'm gonna be eating acid. 22% pork. That's reassuring. Some decent plans today. We are going to go on a bit of an expedition to go see some of the sites nearby and some decent stuff nearby. So, um, I've got a lot of plan today, but I do quite fancy a croissant. I think they're like two quid though, which seems a lot for a croissant, doesn't it? Right, second breakfast. Got myself a croissant, little taste test. Oh, look at the curve on that. Oh, ho, ho, that's got some curves. Hmm. Tastes like croissant. I just realised I'm having breakfast in bed. The crumbs everywhere in my sleeping bag. Well, that is very nice. Mm. Right, I finished my second breakfast. I brushed my teeth. The sun's out. It's a glorious day. And we are ready to go adventure into the area where I nearly died. But we'll go beyond that this time. 
and hopefully not die. This is much higher than previously when I crossed it. Oh, he did it, he did it. To be honest with you, I don't really know where I'm heading. Uh, I just know it's sort of in this rough direction. We are heading towards a place called Bolton's Abbey though, which is somewhere where I've been as a kid. It was one of those places where your parents would go, right, we're off to Bolton Abbey. And you're like, oh God. I mean, it'd be, oh, it'd be an eye roll a moment. Now it's as a, you know, mature 24 year old, I now think, oh, this looks like a nice place. This looks lovely. Let's let's go there. So um, yeah, it is probably quite nice. It's probably just one of those places you don't really appreciate as a kid. There's a gate. It's always exciting when there's a gate. Um, figuring out how you get through. Oh, okay. You just you just open it with the handle. Yeah. There we go. And onto a road. This doesn't seem very safe. But I'm going to do it anyway. That's the main attraction. I think they're cutting the grass and God knows what they're doing. Probably doing some work on it. I mean, it's a ruin, you don't need to do work on it. It's supposed to be ruined. brag about really is it this place is famous for its stepping stones unfortunately they're not here at the moment you can't go across you would step along each of the stepping stones as demonstrated here this is probably the only place on planet earth that health and safety hadn't touched yet uh, i don't know how it was possible don't know how it was legal but yeah basically you could go across the stepping stones but even like kids would go on this you just step across the river many would get washed away would perish but you know it's all part of the fun isn't it it's a family day out if someone doesn't die, then what's the point? Yeah, so that's that's the Abbey, and then down here you got some dead people. Those those are old people there, but I mean I mean the graves. I mean the graves there. They're the dead people, not the old people. They're just old. This is what you do though when you go camping, isn't it? You just go sort of walking, and you get lost. Sometimes you get lost permanently, and you know you die and whatever. But other times. You find something like a little cafe. That's what I'm longing for, a little cafe for lunch. Otherwise, what's the point, you know what I mean? That way to Cavendish Pavilion. Sounds like the sort of place that'd have a cafe. Was a pavilion a cricket thing? I don't know. That's a big tree, isn't it? Imagine that landing on you. You'd get a bit of a headache from that, wouldn't you? See, I think it gets better looking the further you are away from it. A bit like me, really. There is a cafe, according to the map. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Love it. I can see the cafe finally. It's there, it's in sight. Ham sandwich, cake, sorbet. And I accidentally got sparkling, not still. Victoria sponge though, that looked good. This came to £12.50. Okay, lunch all done, I'm full up now. Fill myself with cake, with ice cream, with sandwich. This does really feel like the sort of place where sort of retired people come for a day out. They don't even bother with the walking, they just go straight to the cafe and then it's like, well, we've done something, you know, it's a day out, isn't it? It makes it feel like they're actually doing something with their lives, even though they're not. Anyway, let's now actually go see Bolton Abbey. Let's, let's go see the ruins, sort of the main bit. Just seeing an old woman on the floor. She's tripped up, I think. Looks like she tripped up over a speed bump or something. I was always looking where she was going, but this further sort of proves my point that old people shouldn't be allowed out of the house. I've said this from day dot, really. That's when you know to call it quits, isn't it? When you can't even go outside without tripping over a speed bump. That's it. Right, so apparently I've got to go up that now. Why are we going up there? Why not just build a bridge? You've got enough bridges here, and yet you didn't just build one over this to get to the Abbey. Any need for this? Right, which way are you supposed to go here? Up that way? Or up that way? That's not very helpful, is it? Wait, hang on. The other route is this route here, which comes up here. I'm confused. Right, we're finally here. Let's go inside and see what all the fuss is all about. He's not dead, is he? It's old, it's run down. 
Here's a bit of TLC. Somebody's just left them out. Some dead bodies. I like to have a look at some of the dead people sometimes. This one's uh, John Philip, blacksmith. Died 1865. Also Deborah, his wife. I didn't realize they had Deborahs back in 1871. I thought Deborah was a modern name. 1871, eh? Deborah. Don't feel right, does it? There's no way her mates were calling her Debbie in 1871. No way. Seen that one there? That's nearly as big as my tent, is that? A coffin. The size of my tent. This whole camping thing, it's just silly. We treat the dead better than that. We give them a bigger box. Robert Clough, who died October 30th, 1886, aged 61. In the midst of life, we are in death. Yeah. I used to live next to a graveyard and uh, you'd see the grave diggers come along, dig up a body or whatever, pop another one in. They put like a whole sort of tent thing around it whilst they did, uh, did the business. It's quite an inefficient use of land really, isn't it? You sort of run out eventually, unless you start piling them on top of each other. Got myself a refresher lolly. We're faffing. Danger, this pool is dangerous. That makes no sense. So I've just been sat here for a little bit, just uh, sketching on my notepad and uh, I don't wanna don't want to brag or anything, but managed to managed to make this. Got the trees, got the river, the rocks, basically the same thing. Right, so I've had a little bit of a wander around, had a bit of a walk, had a bit of a sit down and all that kind of stuff. There's only so much of that you can do before it's just sort of the same really, it's just, just grass and water. Probably going to move on from here now, completed it, done. You're not going to believe what just happened then. Just went to the public toilets to go to the toilet just as I'm leaving I think he was a kid or a teenager might have had something wrong with him might have probably did but he's at one of the urinals top was virtually completely off and he's just stood about a foot away from the urinal cock out and obviously I then made awkward eye contact with him because he looked at me naturally you make eye contact didn't see anything else Thankfully. But shouldn't he be accompanied by someone? I feel like he needs someone there to tell him to not stand a foot away from the urinal so everyone can see everything. Just stood back, just like, hey! Traumatised. So yeah, I'm on my way back now. I need to figure out what I'm doing for dinner. I've got to conquer a second night in the tent. Oh, God. Who came up with tents? If that came in on Dragon's Den, you'd go, what the hell are you thinking here? What, what is it? Well, it's a bit of fabric and you sleep inside it. You do what? Why are you sleeping inside fabric? Why are you sleeping outside? Well, it's it's trendy, it's camping. No, 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 no. Got a hotel, got a hostel. Oh, but connect with nature and all that. Go for a walk. Honestly, it just wouldn't get past Deborah Meaden. She's not giving 200 grand for a tent. They'd all sit there, they'd listen to it. What, and it's gonna be really uncomfortable. It's, you're gonna hear the rain all night and you know, you're not gonna be able to sleep properly. Drunken Bannertine, I'm out. The other one, I don't think Duncan Bannerton does it anymore, does he? Home sweet home, there she is. Just got this, the final hurdle to conquer. <laughs> yes! Right, it's time to eat. I'm not sure if this is dinner or pre-dinner, I don't know. Depends whether I find anything else to eat later on. Two Greg sausage rolls. I might save the third one for tomorrow morning for breakfast because I don't know where food's going to come from tomorrow. Hopefully these are still edible. I don't really know what the rules are with sausage rolls. They've been in my bag a day. It tastes fine. Thank God tonight's last night, that's all I've got to say. It's my final night here. I'm probably going to sleep in my coat, I think, tonight. <laughs> See you in the morning when we'll put down this tent, hopefully. That's the bit I'm worried about. <sighs> I guess I'll wait and see. It's 4 a.m. This is by far the worst night's sleep I've ever had. Absolutely frozen. I've got my hood up. I'm still really cold. Okay, it's now 6 a.m. I'm awake. I'm somehow now warmer than I was when I was in my sleeping bag. Don't know how that works. I'm now going to have breakfast before going for my shower early again. You know what it is for breakfast. One left. Come on. Okay, so I've began to pack things away now. As you can see, the sleeping bag packed away. My bag sort of packs. I've got to take down this now, and I'm not looking forward to it because it's got to go into this thing which I carried it in, which is quite compact. Ugh. It's about twice as big as it originally was, but I've 
put it away. <laughs> that took me 22 minutes, in case you're wondering. I'd take that. So just sat here waiting for an Uber now. I mean, what did I learn about myself? Uh, nothing really. I wasn't exactly going to come out and, and find myself. I mean, it wasn't going to be like a broke back mountain type situation. Uh, none of that. Aside from last night's carry on, where I realised that I'm basically the new Wim Hof. Aside from that, not really like anything. I can put a tent up, I can take it down, and I can survive on sausage rolls for a couple of days. That's about it.